there YouTube, this is Megan Egan, The Walking the Fangirl 27. I'm going to be reading you a children's book by Ronald Dahl called The Witches. It's also based on the movie The Witches, so I'm going to read this as an audiobook. This is going to be my first audiobook. Hope you guys like it and enjoy. ...and black cloaks, and they ride on broomsticks. But this is not a fairy tale. This is about real witches. The most important thing you should know about real witches is this. Listen very carefully. Never forget what is coming next. Real witches dress in ordinary clothes and look very much like ordinary women. They live in ordinary houses and they work in ordinary jobs. That is why they are so hard to catch. A real witch hates children with a red, hot, sizzling, Hatred that is more sizzling and red hot than any hatred you could possibly imagine. A real witch spends all her time plotting to get rid of the children. In her particular territory, her passion is to do away with them one by one. It is all she thinks about the whole day long, even if she is working as a cashier in a supermarket or typing letters for a businessman or driving around in a fancy car. And she could be doing any of these things. And her mind will always be plotting and scheming and churning and burning and wheezing and fizzing with murderous bloodthirsty thoughts. Which child, she says to herself all day long, exactly which child shall I choose for my next squeakling? A real witch gets the same pleasure for squelching a child as you get from eating a plateful of strawberries and thick cream. She reckons on doing away with one child a week, anything less than that, and she becomes grumpy. One child a week is 52 a year. Squished and squiggle them and make them disappear. That is the model of all witches. Very carefully, a victim is chosen. Then the witch stalks the rich child like a hunter, stalking a little bird in the forest. She treads softly. She moves quietly. She's getting closer and closer. Then at last, when everything is ready, and she swoops, she sparks fly. Flames leap, oil boils. Rats howl, skin shrivels, and the child disappears. A witch, you must understand, does not knock children on the head, or stick knives into them, or shoot them in with a little pistol. People who do those things get caught by the police. A witch never gets caught. Don't forget that she has magic in her fingers and devilly dancing in her blood. She can make stones jump about like frogs. about 100 of them all together. Some countries have more, others have not quite so many. No country in the world is completely free from witches. A witch is always a woman. I do not wish to speak badly about women. Most women are lovely. But the fact remains that all witches are women. There is no such thing as a male witch. On the other hand, a ghoul is always male. So indeed is a bar guest. Both are dangerous, but neither of them is half as dangerous as a witch. As far as children are concerned, a real witch is easily the most dangerous of all living creatures on earth. What makes her doubly dangerous is the fact that she doesn't look dangerous. Even when you look, know all the secrets, you will hear them those in a minute. You can still never be quite sure whether it is a witch you are gazing or just a kind lady. If a tiger were able to make himself look like a large dog with a wagging tail, 
you would probably go up and pat him on the head, and that would be the end of you. It is the same with witches. They all look nice ladies. Kindly examine the picture opposite. Which lady is the witch? Hmm, that is a difficult question, but it is one that every child must try to answer. For all you know, a witch might be living next door to you right now. Or she might be the woman with the bright eyes who sat opposite you on the bus this morning. She might be the lady with the dazzling smile who offered you a sweet from a white paper bag in the street before lunch. She might be even, and this will make you jump. She might be even your lovely school teacher, who is reading these words to you at this very moment. Look carefully at the dead teacher. Perhaps she's smiling at the absurdity of such a suggestion. Don't let that put you off. It could be part of her cleverness. I am not. I have, of course, telling you for one second that your teacher actually is a witch. All I am saying is that she might be one. It is most unlikely, but here comes a big but. It is not impossible. Oh, if there were a way of telling for sure whether a woman was a witch or not, then we could round up them all and put them in a meat grinder. Unhappily, there is no such way, but there are a number of little signals. You can look out for little quirky habits that all witches have in common, and if you know about these, if you remember them always, then you might just possibly manage to escape from being squelched before you are very much older. Thank you.